Hi everyone, it's Agnes Vivarelli here and today I want to talk about forcing. Are you forcing trying to get a result? Now, I know that amongst law of attraction circles, some people say instant manifestation, 14-day manifestation, 21-day manifestation, there's all these different time zones and time frames, I mean, and it is very much about I'm going to manifest this by then. Now, if you do choose to do that, I'm not against manifesting happening quickly, but I want to say when you set something like that, is it causing you some anxiety? Is it causing you some fear? Or is it helping you to feel good? Okay. Now, forcing is not a great tactic for manifesting. Okay. It is very much the opposite. You create through imagining, through scripting, through affirming, through meditation, through vision boards. You do all your little techniques. Great. But once you've done that, it's letting go, allowing faith and surrender. Okay. Two halves of the nut, which I have spoken about before. So I am coming across a lot of emails lately, which as my friend Ammo would say, <laughs> She said this to me yesterday and it made me laugh so hard. Hemorrhoid forcing. Ah, are you doing that? Because if you are, you're not helping your own self, okay? Ask yourself, am I hemorrhoid forcing? And it's great to actually admit it to yourself if you are and say, yeah, I have been doing that. I've been over texting. I've been over checking. I've been following up. I've been doing all these things because I don't trust that it's unfolding. Remember, nature has a cycle. So does this. This is part of the laws, the laws of life, the laws of the universe. And nature is the best example. You plant a seed, you water, it's got to be, you know, left alone. So the sun can come and make it sprout. It goes through a cycle. Manifesting, I think, is the same. You do your planting through all your techniques, but then you have to take your hands off it and allow it to sprout, hatch in its own time. <laughs> so if you are doing that, stop it and let yourself lean back and away, relax, go and do something that's fun. You know, it doesn't matter what it is, go and do something that makes you feel good whether it's watching TV, a good series on Netflix, whether it's riding your bike, whether it's somebody even said on one of the threads they love watching fish, you know, like do something, watch fish if you need to. <laughs> I love that one. It was brilliant. So ask yourself, how good am I doing on this today? How good am I doing at allowing the art of allowing? If you want to watch a lot about allowing, I think Abraham Hicks does the best work on that. Go to YouTube, put in Art of Allowing Abraham Hicks and watch those videos and get it in your head that that leaning back, stepping away, letting that second half of the nut take shape, faith, letting go, allowing surrender. All of that is inactive stuff. It is really important in manifesting to do that. You step away from the garden, from the field, from the seeds you planted, step away <laughs> and go and do something else. So just thought I'd share that with you because it was a little nugget in my day off with my friend at the organic market while we were having a chai <laughs> and I had a very good laugh. So lots of love. See you in the next YouTube.